Well, guys, Randy here with Nerds Templar. We've certainly done it this time. Well, I don't know what to say. I kind of splurged a little bit. I am, uh, thriftiness is not one of my virtues. Let's just say that. Uh, but I did what I said I was going to do, and I was just, you know, I was just very pleased with most of what uh, what we just did. So if you watched the previous video, I should say if you haven't watched the previous videos, today, which is a Saturday, March the 16th, is uh, was a pre-release party at my local-ish comic book and card shop for Pokemon Scarlet Violet Temporal Forces. Now, I had no idea what to expect from this thing. Wait a second. I had no idea what to expect from this. Um, and so I went there with no expectations other than getting something, buying something. And I went with quite a bit of cash. And um, so I got there and it turned out that uh, while it was a party, it was actually a like a battle party. They were going to have a tournament and depending on place, you could win from one to three packs of Temporal Forces. Um, but as an entry for $30, a $30 entry to the tournament, you would get uh, one of the build-in battles. And if I had a little more time, if I was expecting to do something like that, I would have probably stayed around even just to use this. Because inside these, you'll find a 40-card ready-to-play deck. So I could have done that. Uh, I just realized, are they always the same? Every deck, pre-made deck in the build-in battles? That's a good question because the thing is there's four promos that you would if you were trying to collect all four promos that means you would need at least four of these which would mean you would end up with four of the exact same pre-made decks that seems crazy I, i'm hoping that there's at least a few different pre-made decks inside you know it's not the exact same one every single time that would be nuts but i guess we'll find out eventually with two of them here these are the first build and battle boxes we've had ever so there's that um, I thought that there were pre-release kit things that I've seen on TCG Player. That wasn't what they had there. Like I said, they had this for the entry prior, or just for entering the tournament for $30. I, uh, because I didn't know any better, um, I, they just let me have one and, you know, kind of scratch myself from the tournament. I told them, though, with the new expansion coming out in two months, they'll have another party. I'll probably uh, have to stick around and actually plan for that next time and stick around and... Joined them in the fun. They had at least four people, I think, playing. So that was cool. Anyway, what we ended up, this is the one we got from there. And this is the one we're going to open right now, actually. I'll say that. Um, it was $30. This was this was nine bucks for a hundred matte sleeves. Cortex is the brand. They had a few. This was the he the guy said uh mid-range like uh deck sleeves. The thing, wow, nice. The thing with, with these is um, I could either get a 50-pack or a 100-pack, and Pokemon decks are 60, and so I really couldn't just do a 60. And there's really no way to, to like, you know, sling a 50 card, a 60 card. You'd have to buy several. So I figure whatever, there will be extra um, if I got the 100 this was the more uh, a bit cheaper. They were still pretty nice, and again, the guy said they were good enough, you know, for use. It's not like we're going to be going crazy. I'll probably end up buying red and blue ones as well, maybe even white ones if we want to go that crazy. But I don't think we're going to need any more. These are just kind of like to have some generic um, sleeves for the decks, but also we'll probably have some like the one we'll be getting in our trainer's toolkit, the first one, once we finally open it. And the other trainer's toolkits we'll eventually get. And the Elite trainer boxes we'll eventually get. I saw there was a Paradox Rift Iron Valiant, I believe is the one they had. Uh, Elite trainer box at the comic book shop. But it was like, you know, it was almost the price of the Pokemon Center exclusive one. So I wasn't about to get that. Uh, and actually Walmart, when I went to Walmart, that's where I got these two blisters, which were like, just under five bucks each, so I figured that was decent. Pikachu coin, both of the Paradox Rift, because I don't have any Paradox Rift, Rift as I mentioned earlier in a different video. I didn't end up getting, my my plan was maybe getting uh, a Paradox Rift booster or two from the comic book store when I went to get this, 
But when I went, I saw this and that was almost $30, but I couldn't pass it up. I had to get it because I this is really hard to come up, come come by in my experience so far. Uh, the Scarlet Violet 151 special expansion cards. So six boosters in there. That'll be nice. And get us started in that. And then when I but when I went to Walmart, they had all these single blisters and they had the uh, Paradox Rift. So I'm like, I might as well get some Paradox Rift packs like that. So we have both of those blisters now. Um, these are from. Uh, I also mentioned there's another card shop local in the in the same town as the one I got I went to for this for the party today and this was my first time going to this card shop it was a little bigger it was it was just because it's just a card shop collector's shop so they had a ton of NFL cards football cards uh, basketball baseball cards everything you could imagine there really everything you could imagine um, including like a really nice table a decent sized table of all Pokemon stuff. As soon as you walk in, they had a few other things spread out for Pokemon. They had a lot of, he, I should say, had a lot of um, uh, individual cards, singles to buy. I could, I could do the whole thing like we did at the comic book store, 10 for a, a buck or, you know, one for 10 cents. Uh, but most of those cards, they seem like they're really new, uh, pretty much Sword and Shield plus. I'm not really worried about getting singles that are that, uh, that new because uh, hopefully we'll just be able to round out the whole, the whole, the whole thing, just, you know, with our own expansions and whatnot. But anyway, so I was there and he had two battle styles packs left. So I figured I'd snag those up. Those were by far the oldest he had. And he had the, uh, the build and battle temporal forces build and battle box too. And guess what? It was $10 cheaper there. And I don't want to disparage the comic book store, but this guy's prices were fantastic. They were, they were, I mean, to be frank, they were much better. Um, like single card sleeves and and everything he had was like like a quite a bit cheaper um so it does kind of incentivize me to go there for well at least go there more often i'm not going to go there exclusively of course I'm, because I, and even tomorrow i might go back to the comic book store and check out they're going to have a uh standard i guess tournament pokemon tournament you know, that's what kind of threw me off is there's a tournament scheduled for tomorrow. I kind of wasn't expecting this pre pre release party to also be a tournament. But these were also from the comic book shop. I also realized I could probably get some again cheaper from uh, the other the card shop. But there's 40 sleeves in there. That was for 10 bucks. Not bad. It's actually still I think ended up probably about a little cheaper, maybe about the same price as the Amazon ones I just got. So that's fine. That's everything though, guys. That is what I just ended up getting. Um, wow. This was really good though. These were like less than $4 a pack, which was crazy. I spent less than $30 on this right here, which was less than what this cost. Um, it's pretty much the cost of this, but I'm really excited actually about this. We'll, we'll get to this eventually. I don't know when, because that was, that was a very unexpected purchase. And as you know, at least as you might know, and as I will now show you, we do have still other things we we need to open. Uh, this shining fit, and there's my, these are like that because uh, these hard sleeves had really sticky tape on them. So they're, they're now stuck to the box. I should actually, you know what, should remove them. Wow, they really stuck there because we don't want to mess our box all up. Because you know what, I don't know when I'm going to, Definitely don't want to bend my Charizard either, as you can see there. Or at least as much as you can tell, these are as legit as you get. Base set Charizard, hollow Charizard, that's like as near mint as you can probably get. And the base set to hollow Blastoise, not quite near mint. See maybe a little bit of a of the bend up there, but yeah, those are amazing. They've just kind of been on display with that, obviously. Put them up here for now. Um, but yeah, we've had, of course, also in the last video, opened our third of three of the Galar forces, Galar power, that is, I think, actually. Yeah, mini tins. Just to get those out of the way before this happened, I actually, again, thought that we were going to maybe end up with a pre-release kit. I don't know what exactly that is, but that's not what we ended up with. It doesn't matter. But we also have this still to open, what I mentioned earlier, the trainer's toolkit. So we do have things to work toward. Um, and honestly, I don't know, the trainer's toolkit may 
come sooner than this. I might, there's another Pikachu V collection that's a little newer than the sh this Shining Fates one is. And I may or may not end up getting both of them and keeping them in a box for a little bit like this on display. I don't know. There's really no point in doing that, but why not? I mean, could end up being worth more. There's some things, you know, on TCG Player I've seen that I was, I saw them. And I'm like, wow, that is extremely, extremely cheap compared to what it should be. And even sometimes what the average price says And it. And sometimes I'm very tempted to get two of those things, one for myself and one to keep for when the price stabilizes. And we'll start flipping, flipping Pokemon items. But one of the great things about the, uh, the card shop, he, uh, he does uh, buy cards too. You know, he, he's not going to buy them obviously for the, for a really high price you know what they're really really worth but he will buy them and when I, if i'm trying to get rid of some excess football cards or something he would uh he'd probably take all of them off my hand for the right price hands for the right price i have a ton these are just literally i, I mean these are just a, a very small amount that are have been sitting next to me for a while and they're not tops or anything upper deck or anything like that they're bowmen um but i don't know they uh they're pretty good cards. This is uh, on the top because it was the most valuable I had. Two of them too, Casey Hampton's good old Steeler. And as you see, maybe saw at the top there, rookie card. Anyway, that's not what this video is about because this is a Pokemon video. And you probably, most of you, I guess, probably don't care about that. Anyway, so that's what we got. This will probably be coming up soon-ish because it's just a nice quick one we can do. Uh, opening both of those up, getting the Paradox of Rift collection started. So that's that. And then, of course, I don't know about these. Again, these will probably be, I'll probably do those some point soon-ish to, again, get the, just get them out of the way. I don't think they're anything special. I only got them, like I said, because his booster packs were extremely, he also had Temporal Forces booster packs there, a full thing, obviously, because he probably just put them out on display today, maybe. Um, but his boosters were so so cheap. They're like again, I think they're all less three ninety five or whatever they would sell. He would sell them at. But yeah, they're that's what they were at. So I had to get them. Uh, and again, they're the only two left of those. This one, the from the one from the card shop, it's easy to tell at least because this has the price on it still, or has the price on it. This one never did, I guess. Came straight from the box, shipping box probably. This one we'll, we'll wait on because it wasn't the one we were expecting to get. But it is awesome. And maybe we'll get to it sort of soon just so we can compare the two of them. But that's that. This is what we'll be getting into today. Oh, and like I said, these sleeves are going to be... This is where... Well, this is where I was going to start the new collection with. I was going to use these sleeves that I got from the comic book shop for all my new newest cards. Maybe we'll... I don't know, because my I'm hoping that he just keeps getting the same ones. I literally had to buy these, as you can see. I bought them out of a box. of There's like a box of 100, and it was uh, one sleeve for 25 cents. And so that's how, I, that's how they were purchased. And yeah, so I just, I hope that they're always the same, because it'll mess with my OCD if he ends up getting like different sleeves at some point. <laughs> Um, but again, went to the card shop and I could have gotten a little dusty, but that's probably just because they were sitting. I could have gotten like an actual box of them, um, maybe around the same price. It could have been the same amount of sleeves and it would have been ooh, 20 for, for the box of sleeves. I don't know. I don't know which, which way to, I, I'll have to see next time I got, got some cash on me and I'm looking for sleeves, but I don't know. That might end up soon. I am going to need to buy another of the Amazon packs, but hopefully only one more of those that I've been using for older cards. Hopefully just one more of those will, will be enough. But again, for the newer ones, yeah, we're going to be at that for a bit, I guess. So I say. And then, yeah, there's our... We'll, uh set some decks up in these oh, man it really bothers me that there's a hundred like if, oh, man we're 20 off from making two decks and of course we were the other the 50 packs were only 10 off of being for a deck oh that's how that's, that's how it goes whenever the, they're not made for pokemon uh, there's also other brands that i might have to try out and there are a lot again same things at the 
the card shop that the comic book store had. I just took a quick trip to my lovely sister's house who has, and I thought she might, some extra unused binders. Uh, this one is a, is a very thin one, actually. I'm wondering, we could probably find something really nice to, to use this for that, that is uh, uh, going to be a very complete final kind of collection that we don't need a lot of space for. I think that would be very, very useful. So we'll be able to find uh, a use for that. <laughs> a use for that useful uh, usity. I, I couldn't think of a uh, noun for it. <laughs> anyway, we also have this binder that she gave us. <laughs> Huge, massive. She said a big one. I kind of thought maybe like this big one that we have, which is like a normal kind of big binder. This thing is a massive binder. We're going to be able to use this for pretty much everything. <laughs> I mean, we could use it for everything. Um, it, we'll see what the next binder I get is because the white old one I just showed you that has all the cards in, I'm going to retire that one for Pokemon cards along with all the old sleeves. Those will go back to use for my football collection. Um, but like I said, this card shop, maybe I'll be able to unload not only some football and basketball cards, but maybe even some Pokemon cards. We'll see how, how his prices are for that. We'll see, because I can maybe even, I wouldn't exactly mind starting to sell on TCG Player myself if I could figure out an easy way to, to handle that. Uh, anyway, these I'll, I'll probably just take out, but yeah, this thing, if we use this for our new collection, it would go, it could go forever in here. Meaning we could just keep sun and moon X, Y, X, Y plus pretty much could, could be in this binder if we wanted. Uh, and then maybe even I could move in, like I could move to a different binder, the current cards or whatever at some point, you know, if this goes for another decade somehow. And uh, if we do this for that long, who knows, who knows how long I'll, I'll do this, maybe that long. But anyway, this is where I guess, uh, I'm going to begin with with things with these new sleeves that I just got. Let me just throw these in real quick and then they'll be out of the way. And I was just thinking if these aren't enough and I'll probably end up just filling these up today, <laughs> today. Yeah. And then tomorrow, like I said, is that actual Pokemon tournament at the comic shop. I might, I'm very tempted to go down. It is kind of a pain to keep driving down that far. It, it is local, my most local. But it's not all that local. It's like still a 20-ish minute drive. So, but anyway, I might because uh, I wouldn't mind meeting the guys that that would go and do that kind of thing and just chatting, hanging out. I met the one the one guy that runs all the stuff there. He seemed like a good dude. Met him today. Uh, that means I'd probably see him again tomorrow. I asked him if it'd be cool if I just was like a spectator. He said, yeah, that'd be cool. So, um, Anyway, that being said, I will probably end up, because they were they were quite cheap, um, I'll probably end up buying more of these if I can, uh, I don't know. I only spent 10 bucks on 40. Maybe I'll get another 20 or something. So that would um, that'd get us a decent way through maybe our collection. Maybe all of it, actually, the new collection. But that will be for later in the next video, probably, that you see, maybe. Probably, because like I said, that'll be next. But okay, without further ado, starting <laughs> right here, if you want, on the chapter, here is our Scarlet and Violet Temporal Forces pre-release build and battle box. Um, I don't know. It, let's see if this is an, a real pre-release or not. The only way we would find out, because I know that they have, like promos if you would call them promos or not i don't know um pre with like the pre-release stamp on them and does that mean it's in these kind of things that they sell to places for pre-release or what I'm trying not to bend the box the cardboard box too much while i run my nail against this sorry for that sound let me turn it down Wonder. I'm gonna have to ask who uh, I don't know anybody, obviously, but I, I saw faces at least of 
what we have there. There was two or five, including the, the guy running the thing. Five faces I would maybe recognize tomorrow if they show up again for the tournament. I'll have to ask, see who won yesterday. Today, that is. But then it will be yesterday. Okay. Something sharpish to get in here. Oh, look. My... Some... Some silverware here. Should be a little some hair on it. Nice. Useful. All right. Well, there we go. Finally. Okay. Really excited for this. First one of these. First time. Maybe first time ever I've had like the uh, even initial release, let alone pre-release of anything in Pokemon. That is at least because. Like I've said before, I played a lot, a lot of Hearthstone. I spent quite a bit of money on Hearthstone, honestly. Um, I, I played quite a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, Duel Links, and otherwise online. I played a lot of online card games. Uh, Magic the Gathering Arena, not quite as much. Um, anyway, here we go. Build and battle box. Let's see what we get. Well, that's pretty cool. I'd, I'll have to figure out how to use use this thing, but there's all kinds of things this box can do. Hey, that that'll just go under that lip there. So of course our our four packs. Let's see if they give one of each. Yeah, thank you guys. That's what I'm saying. Real nice. Wow. They all seem decently heavy. I'm not gonna lie. And there's this stuff. This looks like it's probably the checklist. Is this um I can't tell. So is this supposed to be the pre-release then with the Temporal Forces stamp? Is that how they do pre-release now? Cool. Or is that the um the one of four promo cards? From build and battle and that's kind of and maybe that's how they how you how they decide which deck you get based on the four cards yeah i don't know but here we go this is the uh ancient and future powers in jewel the ranks of ancient and future pokemon continue to grow walking wake ex brings fr breaks free of the past alongside raging bolt ex while iron leaves ex delivers high-tech justice with iron crown ex Outside Area Zero, Wugtrio and Farigaraf shift types as Terra Pokemon EX, and Pokemon trainers everywhere prepare for the return of Ace Spec cards with uniquely powerful effects. I have never heard of those. A rupture in time begins, uh, brings wild beasts and cyber visions to battle in the Pokemon TCG Scarlet and Violet Temporal Forces expansion. Then we have some building tips there. You go, if we want to pause, you can even read it for yourself. And there is our card list. Cool. Uh, not, and I'm assuming that doesn't include hidden cards, right? Because there are some of those. That's awesome. I didn't really expect this, but it makes sense that they would give you one of these. I like having that because then I don't have to do them myself. Um. Uh, see here should be a way to open our so of course yeah we got metang in there um not even an evolution three what's that about <laughs> that is the promo though as you can see there number 90 and it's an h we talked about that uh in the past actually i even made this little handy guide for myself because i'm not smart i will fill it in more later but and of course as we go uh, whenever I becomes a thing eventually. Um, but this is showing, I'm pretty sure right now, F is the one that will be going out. And then once that happens, I'll circle G because that means that those are the ones on the, on the chopping block, but that won't happen until I is up because once I is up, F is out and G would be circled. They'll all happen at the same time, I suppose, pretty much. Um, and then I would, I will put the, um, probably the somewhat like the series to series, beginning to end for these two just to have a little better of a guide there more comprehensive guide but yeah here we go how do we open this thing 
Oh, I found something. So yeah, Metang. Can we find what else is on here? I'm sure that this card list doesn't include any kind of promo thing. I don't know how to open this thing at all. Bear with me, guys. Probably speed this part up. Oh, there we go. Okay. And gently now. And again, these are pre-made. I don't... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, unless unless the pre there's one pre-made deck and all four of the promo cards, maybe they... Uh, maybe they don't really... Maybe they all fit as like, you know, the top card in the deck. But you know what? I find it hard to believe, but I guess there's no other way. You're not going to have any V or anything kind of card in here. Wow, look at that bend though. What? That is a, that is a bend all right in that card. Like a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> That's nobody, that is nobody but the, but the maker making it that bendy. I mean, what in the world? It's crazy. Uh, let's do this. There's he. All right. Trainer tips. This for now. Throw him there. Then here with Metang, I guess. All right. Well, apparently we have a metal deck. I saw a metal energy. And maybe, you know, if I'm really feeling lucky, I mean, I might as well try because it seems like the tournaments, oh, they are actually, they are buy-in tournaments. So I, I think they said 10 bucks. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Um, So there is that, but you get prizes back at least in the amount of $10 worth of stuff. So, I don't know. It's a good way to get extra packs and stuff, you know? So I am kind of tempted to do it if I want to spend another $10. But again, it might be fun. I'm going to maybe probably be there anyway. And maybe I'll just be like, I'll just use this new deck I got. I mean, it, it is... Is it legal yet? Like, can I use this deck in standard play? I'm not sure. I might have to join the comic book store uh, Discord, which I haven't used in a long time, and find out. <clears throat> Wait a second. That's awesome for one. That's not the card. <laughs> that was a new. That was another new card. That was awesome. Um, so what I was gonna say is, uh, what's up with? Well, this is cool for one, this luminous energy. Every type of energy, but only provides one, of course. If it has any other special, if the Pokemon has any other special energy, this is a uh, colorless instead. Um, but this is a G now. This is not an H like the Metang was. So I wonder what that's about. Oh, oh okay, again, because it's a deck. So we might be dealing with, I guess, some cards that are earlier. Obviously the energies, but... Oh yeah, P A L, duh. So if we're just if we're just aware of our acronyms here, then we'll be all right. Oh, that's the wrong. Sorry, I am actually bringing up my my cheat sheet. <laughs> um, because Pal, yeah, that's of course Paldia evolved. This is though, Temporal Forces. And that's a rare, a rare Coridon Dragon. Pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, because it, it, we just read something about ancient and what was the other thing? Ancient and future. Yeah, that makes sense. Ancient and future. Wait, are they right here? Maybe. Wait, Metagross. What about Metagross? We have Metang, but we don't have a Metagross, so that's... That's not good. There's another Metang. Different, though. Cool. Well, it's the same, but different art. 
Ah, I get it. So the four promos are going to be different card art with the stamp. Ah, uh, I'm may that might be it. Maybe we'll see. Wow, that's another pretty cool rare there, Fluttermane. She looks like a super mischievous, ancient mischievous. Another metal energy. What? Are, what? Wait. So. Okay, that is all. What is it? interesting it is a psychic card but it does have this cool i've never seen any like that is this new to temporal forces this crazy card art because of the being an ancient card maybe of course on all our rares and all colorless energies so it would probably oh it's actually weak to steel that's cool so it would fit in a deck anywhere really um but we're also dealing with this co Raiden who had Fire and fighting energy needed. So I don't know how we're going to be able to play that. So we have all, yeah, there's some fighting. Okay, maybe it's a try, try deck. Never had one of those before. Here's Great Tusk. Cool. He's just an uncommon, but he's awesome. So are all temporal forces like these, um, Really strong Pokemon from the Scarlet Violet expansions. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's nothing like the, the, not a promo or anything, but it's cool. Temporal Fates, Temporal Forces, sorry, Temporal Forces, Temporal Forces for Great Tusk. I think any of the ones we saw with the ancient thing would be Temporal Forces. Beldum is Temporal Forces because that whole Pokemon line is. And so everything except the trainer so far, I guess, that we started off with is a new temporal forces card an ultra bowl so of course that is base set beldum basic energy professor sada's vitality that is a new card no wait no it's not that is par that is paradox rift and i so i guess i maybe would have known that this thing was in Paradox Rift if I had opened my Paradox Rift packs that I just got, but I didn't open them yet because I just got them. And this is more important. Fighting Energy. Explorer's Guidance. Top six cards you deck, put two of them in your hand and discard the others. What was, uh, what was this one? Choose up to two of your ancient Pokemon. Hmm, nice. And attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to each of them. Nice. You detach an energy in this way. Draw three cards. Nice. Pretty cool. Another steel, metal. Sorry, it's a metal, but it's a steel, but it's metal. Uh, ancient booster energy capsule. Ancient Pokemon. This card is attached to gets plus 60 HP for corruptors from all special conditions and can't be affected by any special conditions. That's that's a nice card. I could, I mean, I guess I could try using this deck. Maybe I use the E, e like the internet, oh, internet card thing, and I. And I test it out online or something tonight. I don't know. <clears throat> buddy, buddy, poppin. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Metal Energy. Jacques. From Scarlet Violet Base set. Search for two evolution Pokemon in your deck, reveal them, put them in your hand, and shuffle your deck. Cool. Fighting energy, so maybe no fire in here, even though Koraida needed a fire. I don't know how that works. See, this attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, yeah, so I'm not sure. Unless they just give us a couple fire energies here somewhere. Youngster, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. That's nice. Metal energy. Another Koraida, so we definitely need some fire. Yep, that's a fighting. That's another Metang, which is to be expected. Another co on we definitely need a fire energy here, fellas. Metagross, two Metagross, that's cool. We have only three Metang, though, with, and that's only because we have the promo. Flutter Main again, fighting energy before that, metal energy there. There's no fire energy in here, guys. You can use this card only if you discard another card from your hand. Draw a card for each of your opponent's fetched Pokemon. And a Beldum, and a Fighting Energy, and another Great Tusk, who 
and a, and a metal energy. So the only thing that we could do to play those Koraiden, which is going to be difficult because there's three of them, is put this on them. There's only one of those in the deck, though. So I don't know how we're supposed to play them. And this won't be out in time for you guys to tell me before I would maybe have to use this. And if I want to, I actually don't have any theme decks that are legal. So there's that too. Pretty sure. Sorry to go off for a moment here, but I'm pretty sure my Blastoise and Venusaur V decks are not playable anymore. In standard, that is, which is what is happening tomorrow, of course. Ah. Come on there. Just one of you. Just ah. Great. Great start. Great Scott. That's an E, so yeah, that that would that would actually uh disqualify it unless I of course switch that card out for other cards, but that would require me just making a different deck anyway. Anyway, there we go. Let us continue. So we would have to either figure out how to utilize three co on who take a fire energy for one of their attacks when we only have one special energy card that would be able to allow us, would allow us to use those. Um, and now I'm not sure where to put these. Uh, what I'm going to do first is do this. All right. And, um, oh yeah, let's we'll put throw them back in the box, of course. Whoop. And we will throw Matang in the front, I think. Forgot that was back there. What oh, about you? Whoop. Slide that in like this, like so. And those hopefully won't be in there for too long. Yeah, that's got to be... This was the only card with the Temporal Forces stamp, right? That's got to be the... the uh, whatever, pre-release stamp. Now, I'm very curious what the other ones are. I'm certainly going to have to find out from the peeps at the place tomorrow. And you know, it really, really makes me tempted to check out what we got in the other, the other box. You know, if we got another Matang, be like, yo guys, I got an, I got two. If anyone else maybe ha ended up with two boxes and ended up with two of the same, they probably didn't though, because, uh, they probably won't have a way to get two yet. Actually, I don't know what I'm talking about. They'll probably have I don't know, maybe the one maybe the other box we have doesn't have isn't a pre-release. But I but that's just from the regular build and battle box. Like that's just the card from from this thing, not necessarily a pre-release thing. I get right. Because you just get them all the time in the build and battle. And the build and battle box is not the same as a pre-release kit. Sorry guys, I'm still learning all this stuff. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um gonna close that up and then do this for now. We are not going to evaluate these because that doesn't make any sense. I don't think they have values yet, right? They shouldn't. So we'll just, uh, those will just hang out here. I think they'll be okay like this. And we will though, because this is going to be the beginning of, uh, the new, uh, the new collection in the new binder and the new sleeves and everything. We are going to put these again in number order, like it would have here. And so uh, the value order doesn't matter anymore in that case. Now let's see. These packs feel lighter than they did last time. <laughs> Maybe I'm just more used to stuff. I don't know. Put them in order that I'm going to open them. All right, let's just do that. <clears throat> All right, a Suicune looking, the Suicune looking thing is also on the front there. See what happens. Maybe uh, I we didn't have, there weren't like really that many different uh, unique cards in the in the deck, right? There was the, the Beldum, Metang, and Metagross, and then there were like three of different ancient Pokemon, right? Maybe. Koraidon, and then the 
what was a great tusk in the mischievous one. That opened pretty easily, but that's to be expected. Oh my goodness, is that card bent? Now that would be crazy. To be expected that the new, the very new packs would be easy to open at the top, you know. Should just be able to slide them. Licky licky. I swore that was. It looked like it was bent. It is like a little bit. Hopefully, it's just that. I think it's just this card. So we're good. We're good. No problem, right? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's all good. Licky Licky. Our first Temporal Forces card. Is it better without this light? Eh, not really here. A little better, I guess, maybe. All right. Licky Licky. Common number one. <laughs> there you go. There's a, there's one duplicate already. Did not take long. Second card, Metang. Uh, oh, he's only a common too. Wow, that's crazy. Woo. A Carcol. I have never heard of that. But uh, Roly Coley is the. Oh, uh, coal, I get it. Coal, like, like coal. Car coal. Charcoal, but a car, maybe. Car, cart, cart of coal. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we got H's, of course, for the temporal forces. And uh, Paldean Fates and Paradox Rift may also. No way, we did. I don't know. I don't remember if I saw a Paradox Rift card or not. Uh, a Wow, the Grottle, which is also a common. Interesting. That's the, I think that's the first time I ever saw a second, or I guess a stage one starter Pokemon that was a common. I think that's a first. For me. For me. Oh, nice. Colossal. Definitely uh, Garkle's evolution, I could have called that. And he is, uh, he's an uncommon. He's uh, a, an unhollow uncommon, so that's, this pack is in a different, or they have ordered the packs differently. I don't know when that started, of course, but this is different than the ones I'm used to, which aren't the newest of newest. Although, what, Obsidian Flames and Peldy Evolved, I think, were commons, random, reverse hollow, rare, energy, and then uncommons. This was commons, then uncommons, box order. And then uh, another uncommon, got a, our first ancient non theme deck, or non whatever that is. I guess maybe it's not a theme deck. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Screamtail, nice. A Jigglypuff, ancient Jigglypuff. Um, a bit on the weaker side, but it's all good. Supportive singing. Heal 100 damage from one of your benched ancient Pokemon. Wow. One colorless energy to do that. That's pretty good. Of course, that's a card that would be playable in our deck. Nice two colorless attack. Ooh. It's, of course, a, a common reverse hollow, but it's a Ponyta. I kind of like that art. Bunch of Ponyta in there with, with the... Or front one. <laughs> Just as easy to play as those co riden in the deck. Oh, nice. Our Excadrill. Wait. We got two. Did we? Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four. Is that all the. Um... No, there was one under there, wasn't there? I thought there was. What? Yeah, Licky. Oh, wait, no. Licky, Licky. And then Metang. And then we had the... Uh... Well, 
Where'd Grotel go? Grotel, Grotel. Wow, oh, these cards are nuts. Okay, so he's down there. So that was four. All right, I guess that was it. And then we had three uncommons. So this is the random, which makes sense, I guess, because we had the Ponyta first. And that is uh, that was our fifth common there. Now I know. I didn't count them, so I didn't know. But now I know. And this was the then the random reverse hollow Excadrill. Uncommon. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think we may have pulled a drill bur drill burr recently. I think we also got an Excadrill recently, too. So Ooh! That looks nice. It is a full hollow, I think. Um, it's a hollow, nonetheless. Um, Meridon. So uh it's a it's our first future instead of ancient so that's cool too and it uh is awesome to say the least would go with our co-ride on but um yeah it's hollow i guess is the only difference really right it's a future the co-ride on is ancient which i expected would maybe be the case and look at that another metal energy in case we didn't have enough i think uh from out of my newest energies, because out of the old ones, I only have the only metal energies I have that are not from new packs I've been opening on here are three of these guys. One there, two there, and then another one in the actual collection. Um, but I think out of the new energies that I've been grabbing, I think I have metal, more metal than anything out of the boosters, at least not counting like theme deck ones. But there you have it. I'm gonna order these how. I'm going to order these to my liking. Yeah. Oh, just by doing that, I guess. Nice, though. I mean, that's not bad. We're not going to be able to find out how much it's really worth, but I'm I'm sure there's much better cards than that uh, that we will someday see, perhaps. This pack's like a little goofy, so I'm going to flip it there. It's going to help them stay flat. And there is number one. It's going to be a long one, so... Strap in, guys. Gonna have chapters for you, of course. And give me this. Here we go. Feel free to take a break. <laughs> Grab a drink. I don't have any coffee because it's getting later in the day now, actually. I've had four, which is way too much. Um, pack number two, the Raiko looking thing. I really need to get back into the games, uh, video games, but it's not enough time for everything, especially with the, uh, the gardening season starting up. I also was able to get, uh, my red, did I already say that? My red and white onion seeds that, uh, I think I'm just going to throw in the ground instead of seed starting now at this point. That'll be fine. I think I'm also going to do the same for my broccoli and cauliflower. This saved me space and soil for seed starting and and uh, the seed starting units themselves. I think I'll have plenty if I don't do those. It's another weird bent up um, online card, which is fine if it's just the online card, but I don't know why they're coming bent. That's weird. Why would they be bent inside here? A box must have took a hit somehow, but it was inside another bigger, you know, like shipping box. So strange. Ooh, Finizen, nice, nice. Things that uh, I know people like, like Finizen and whatever the uh, evolution is called, the dolphins. People like dolphins. I think they usually probably are a bit more, or a bit valuable. Got our that card there, and then there's number one common. So that last pack had three hollows in it. Bronze ore, number two. Mighty Enna, nice, cool. I just pulled a Poochiena recently, so and again may have a Mighty Enna already. Duogian, Duogian. I can't remember if I saw this or not, but 
we did get a uh, Reuniclus at one point. This is number five common. No, this is number one uncommon, which means we got another common uh, reverse hollow. So we're dealing with another three hollows unless our rare is not a hollow. But I don't know at this point, I think all the rares are hollows. I don't know. We'll find out. Sableye. Iron Valiant. Nice. There's another future for, for us. And that is pretty awesome. Zenblade. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Zenblade. <laughs> okay, nice. And this is the third uncommon for us. Rescue Bolt. Wait, did we just get a Rescue Board in here? Gotta check. Come on. It's that card, isn't it? No, I don't think so. It's that one right there. Uh, boxed order. Boxed order. And then rescue board. Retreat cost of the Pokemon this card is attached to is one less. His remaining HP is 30 or less. It has no retreat cost. Cool. Oh, Victini. Common. There's our common reverse hollow. Little Victini. That's an interesting little artwork. Not bad. He eating a berry. Like that. No, he's just yawning or something. Cool though. Ooh, Ra Ra Rabska. Never heard of it. But uh, another uncommon reverse hollow. Spherical shield. Prevent all damage from and effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to your bench Pokemon. Oh, cool. Nice blocker. Not much uh, not much health to him, though. Wow. Maybe there's a stage 2 to these guys? Perhaps. Psychic plus uh, 10 plus a leaf attack, a, a grass attack, psychic attack. This attack does 30 more damage for each energy attached. To your poke opponent's active Pokemon. Hmm, nice. And there's a Mag Cargo Hollow Rare. Not as cool as Miraidon, but Mag Cargo, I mean, whatever. Um, that might be our first Mag Cargo, actually. We we mentioned in a very early video. After getting the Torkoal, I then got a Slugma. Thought for a moment the Torkoal was a Mag Cargo. Remembered it wasn't. And I think that might actually be our first Mag Cargo. I mean, we definitely have some Slugmas, if nothing else. Not as I still would say not as good as the Miraidon, but still whatever. Um, same amount of Hollows. Cool. Both of those had three. That was nice. That was nice of them. Now, on to the one that looks like a thing that I don't recognize. <laughs> thing with this one, except uh, I know Verizian because I have a reverse haul of Verizian. And that looks like uh, some kind of version of that. Is that, uh, what do they call it? Iron leaves or whatever. But this is not that. Is that Walking Wake? No, Walking Wake is the, um, is that the Suicune? Maybe? Roaring Moon, is that the Entei's name? Oh, oh, I thought I messed that one up, but I didn't. All good. Pack number three. Getting in there quick, getting in quick-ish. It came out nice. Cool. And, oh, uh-oh. Do that for. Oh, that was the um, that was the online card causing me a lot of problems here. And we got some work to do on this new collection though. Afterward, these are actually though, now that I think about it, I did say the whole collection is going to go from latest to oldest in the new bi newest binder, which means we'll always be adding to the front of it, which means these would be the first ones. To go in anyway, so yeah, we could just uh, throw those, throw these in real quick, and get them off my desk here, 
after we're done. Done, Spurs. Snom, another Snom for us. We have three in Shining Fates, so we can't use those anymore. So good. Now we have another Snom, and a, a Snom we can use. A Pikachu who we can now use. Random Spark, this attack does 10 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon without any weakness or resistance because usually I think it I read in the rules usually benched attacks don't apply weaknesses and resistances not always a problem probably but usually uh, this one specific about that 70 HP that's definitely something you're throwing out hoping that uh, <clears throat> maybe out there in the beginning I would say I have no idea how to play this game I'm hoping maybe I can pick up some tips again I was really not prepared to to go at it today or hang out today because I had an agenda. Um, and I'm glad I, I didn't because I probably would have been so much later today getting back. Scyther, that's pretty awesome, even though again it's a it's a common is a really cool I, I really like that artwork. Awesome. By uh by Disuke. Huh, okay, phone. Slashing strike, nice. Oh, but you can't use it next turn. Uh, so a nice, a Pikachu and a Scyther. And our fifth common is not a common, so that means we have another Reverse Hollow common coming up. There's another Buddy Buddy Poffin. Oh, nice, Zeraora. Zeraora. <laughs> oh, Strong Bolt, that's a really strong move, but you got to discard an energy when you use it. Pretty strong though. Uncommon. And next third uncommon, Shawpedo. A really cool artwork of that as well, I would say. I think. Strong jet headbutt there with no no uh adverse effects. Maybe you can make your opponent discard with that chew off. And there is our comment. Wait. No, there's the did I, was I wrong? Did I miscount again as usual? Dunsparce. I thought it was Dunsparce and Pikachu. Uh, Dunsparce, Snom. Pikachu, Scyther, yeah. So I don't know. There's a fourth uncommon, but that's probably the random, that's got to be the random reverse hollow. Palafin, which, oh, wait a second. I, I guess I've never seen this Pokemon before. I thought uh, I had seen the evolution of Finizen, but I guess I was wrong. That's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Definitely the first one. We have a couple Finizen. I think I have a reverse hollow Finizen from a different set, which may still be usable, I think. But if we make decks, I would probably just stick to the Scarlet and Violet uh, cards at this point, maybe. At this point, I'll probably have enough. Once I open all this stuff, I definitely have enough to make a a decent deck, a usable deck for sure. It's all also going to be up to me to use it correctly. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, but Carvana, that's a that's our common, our last common, and there's the the river's hollowness of it. Carvana is pretty cool. Oh wait, yeah, and we just had a Sharpedo, right? Yeah, so noise. Of course, I'm also a little less tempted to use reverse hollows in battle. But a Gengar EX, I might be a little tempted to use in battle. Oh, wait, wait a second. So, okay, so EX cards aren't like V in the in the other V. They don't work the same because, as you can see, he has to evolve from a Haunter. We do have Haunters and, and a Ghastly. I don't know if we have more than one Ghastly. We might have to hope for a Ghastly or two here in these packs. This pack and then the other packs, I suppose, but... Oh man, that is a cool Gengar. Do you see that? Do you see the shininess behind there? The uh, glittery hollow, sparkly hollow? That is our first Gengar for sure that we got recently. And I, for one, love Gengar. There's two stars down there. There's two stars. What's that mean? What does that mean? He's a, like a super hollow, super, super rare or whatever. I don't know what you'd call him. He's down here though. I see him. They're actually all over the place. Oh, oh, yeah, that's because they're still in, like, order of... Um, are they still in, in... What kind of order are these things? They are in type order, 
still. So you have the grass. And I don't know how they decided on the rest. Oh, wait, wait. Yes, I do know. They are in number order, Pokedex number order after type order. Scyther is the only Kanto. Pineco is the only Johto. C Dot, Nuzleaf, Shiftree, Shroomish, Breloom, uh, and Roselia are the only. Uh, Hoenn, Rosary, Tur anyway, yeah, you get my point. That's how it goes. And then it'll switch. Wow, that's confusing. Why do it that way? I don't know, probably just to be super confusing. But let's see. Uh, oh, I co okay, so if we, there are actually, we could get something that is to a double gray star, which would be an actual ultra rare. If we got the pink star, which is what the A spec rares they were talking about, um, and you can see them there, which ones they are. Oh wait, those are all, all the, all the pink stars are trainers. But then there's the illustration rare, one, one gold star, special illust illustration rare, two gold stars, and a hyper rare, which is three gold stars. Yeah, okay. We'll see if we get any of those. I'm happy just to have a, a double black star. <laughs> just the only uh, only one up from a uh, from a regular rare, which nobody's so excited about anymore, I guess, these days. I was just telling my sister about that when I went to pick up the binders. Uh, you get something that like looks really cool. Like like back in the day, you would have thought it was like the best. Like you, like you just got a Charizard, basically. Um, but nowadays it's like not even worth anything because there's so many more cards that are above it. Like you just saw the double rare and the ultra rare and the illustration rare and the special illustration rare and the hyper rare, all of those things above a rare and double rare, which we just got there. But that was our first double rare I ever got. I don't know how off, how long they've been doing that. Let me check real quick here. The, I have two of the other sheets one of them actually i think is from uh burning shadows sun and moon so that's super old but the other one is also kind of old because it's silver tempest but we can at least look i guess find out i think that's what the, yeah so this is the sun and moon so did they have them they had uh i don't know what that's supposed to mean standard set standard set foil oh that's what's possible the foils are i keep calling them reverse hollows but it's just a, a foil i guess Parallel set, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Something else, I guess. Maybe it doesn't exist yet. Did, did, did this have a... No, yeah, this just has... The, the new one, Paradox Rift, is just... Um, or per, Temporal Forces is just uh, standard and foil. Standard foil. No parallel set. Makes sense. This one does have a... It's rare and hollow rare. And then it does have an ultra rare and the rare hollow GX. So it does have a bunch of different ones, too. Not as many, but it does have more than... Uh, more than two, even. So, Silver Tempest, even closer to the present day standard. This one has a parallel set as well. Hollow Rare, Ultra Rare there. Hollow Rare V, Hollow Rare V Max. Okay, so it was just, maybe it's just, uh, it, the, it just looks different on the card. And it's also helping with this, showing you what it is. Um, all the rare V star and then a, a radiant rare. So I think that that is a little, a little different. The burning shadows may have been a bit different than we're seeing here as well with how, I mean, this one's obviously illustration rares. That's just the artwork, but being a collector, I'm just, I would be very excited to, to get one of those. This is the one I was pretending was the heaviest. So I don't know. Well, so far we kind of, called it. Actually, uh, it's hard to say. I don't know if that's the same card stock or not, because I, I've said in the past, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, I mean, because I've talked a lot about the, the weight, the difference in cards, which does exist. I highly doubt that anyone can actually weigh that out just by hand, but uh, including myself. Um, but the weight difference I, I said in the past was material on the card. And while that's technically true, what it really is, is the, the card material itself being, I think, right. So I think like hollow card stock is different than the regular card stock. So that, so the entire card weighs more because of that. Um, so 
That's why I say it's probably the same card stock for the Mag Cargo and the Maraid Maraidon. Maraidon. I don't. I'm not sure how I would pronounce that. As with most cards, <laughs> new Pokemon, even some old ones, Chime Echo. Still a little embarrassed about that one. But I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I laugh at myself all the time. So. I'm used to being. I'm used to laughing at myself. Come on there. Eh, that was easy enough. Bronzor again, right? We had one in the first pack, I believe. Again, this is the end, guys. Thanks for joining me. Please like, hit that like button, comment for sure, subscribe. We're going to be opening, as you saw, tons of other stuff I just got and so much more in the future. I also mentioned in the last video, I don't think I mentioned this one, I made some other online purchases. I maybe should have waited until after this to do that just to see how much I would spend in person but whatever I just have to you know just have to work around all the splurging I did that's fine anyway yeah subscribe so you can see all that new stuff whenever that it comes out and hopefully soon we'll be able to catch up and we'll be doing some live streams catch up to the editing of videos that is do some live streams join me for that We'll definitely need to be subscribed then, right? So you can catch me in time. Mudbray, our second common there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Very yes. A ghastly. This is what we need. Wouldn't it be great if we had a haunt or two come out of this pack? That wouldn't be bad. Apparently, we're working with a dark uh, type ghastly haunter Gengar line here. That Gengar EX I didn't even notice is also dark. Hey, a Finizen again. Wait, yeah, well, this is Finizen number two. Is this the same? Is this the same one? What was that? Pack number two here? I think. Try to be. That's it right there. It was the first card, yeah. Yeah, it's the same one. Okay. Well, there's two Finizen for the. Um, now I can't remember what the name of the. Uh, that evolution is, but we got it. Not that one. Palafin. Ah, ha, ha, I get it. Fin Wait, Finizen? Is that supposed to be Citizen? And then, or, or something else? Uh, Denizen? <laughs> <clears throat> and then you have Paladin? I don't know. Anyway. That's number four. And then every single one of these had two, two standard hollows in it. I wonder if that is a planned thing for these. Starting to think it is. Starting to think. See, this is a good, uh, a good, uh, uh, anecdotal thing for the whole creation or whatever creation by design argument. You know, it's one thing if you get two out of four packs that that had three hollows, if you will, in them. You know, you get two out of you open two out of four. You're like, OK, well, that's that could just be chance. Sure. Easy. That could just be chance. Very random. Um, but whatever it's four out of four, that's more likely. Now, it's not the same as if it was eight out of eight, which we might find out when we open this one up. <clears throat> But if it's eight out of eight, they give us a double standard foil plus our regular, you know, the, the, the rare, then that's whenever you say it was designed that way. Just like when you see the universe and how ordered it has to be for us to have life or anything at all, literally anything at all to exist without the universe imploding on itself immediately after forming or expanding so fast that it pretty much it just vanishes and no life has a chance to exist as science tells us um it actually seems that it has to be designed by somebody some someone has to be some kind of intelligence right behind a designer can't just be it can't be the design the designer can't be less intelligent than its design right so Anyway, enough of your short philosophy lesson. At the very end of this, I snuck it in there. <laughs> anyway, Bronzong, our first, 
right? Yeah, our first uncommon here. We're going to be looking for our last common in the reverse hollows, which kind of leads me to believe I may have a reverse hollow uncommon for the other one. Who knows? If it's very much set up that way, then maybe they're really, uh, really keen not to give you two rares in one pack. But there's an Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. We already have one of those, right, from the from the deck. Really curious to see if the pre-made decks are all the same. Iron Treads, nice, nice. We could throw him into our pre-made. Oh, he's a future. Oh, our, our deck is ancient. He's a future, which makes sense, because Ancient Tusk is like almost like his, his... I don't know what you'd call it. It's like the converse of him almost i guess because they're both uh don fan right chat alt acapella search your deck for up to three basic pokemon and put them onto your bench wow then shuffle your deck that is it that is a fine fine move chat alt. and a little gust too <laughs> but that's our reverse hollow coleman Woo! Okay, guys. Well, I take it all back. Because there is a one singular gold star for us. Um, I thought this was going to be our, our reverse holo common. But this is a, this is a, an illustration rare Mincino is what this is. Well, thank you, Pokemon people, for, for giving me a, a pretty good four pack here, I would say. Now, I don't know if that would be planned, but... We did end up making out pretty well here, I would say. Of course, we're not going to be able to know quite yet, I guess. I don't know how long it'll take before we can really get some kind of idea on values. But, I mean, again, it is an illustration rare. We're talking... Uh, we're talking 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22 of those. And even less of that combined of the special as illustration rares and the hyper rares. So it is, uh, again, it's also the end. Oh yeah, look at that. The ultra rares are, are actually labeled higher than the illustration rares. So they may be more rare. I don't know how that, I don't know if that's how that's supposed to work or not. But this card is awesome. It's pretty good. It's pretty good uh, artwork. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Mancino or, or anything. And I guess the artwork, I mean, it's not like it's amazing. It's not like, it doesn't blow me away or anything, but it's definitely not bad. I'm not going to complain about that for sure. Iron Valiant. So we didn't really, I can't say we weighed this out, but we almost, <laughs> we almost weighed it in order of like interest, in my opinion. But that's not something you can weigh. That was just super random. Um, the, but that Iron Valley and is, wait, wait a second. Didn't we just have, uh, an uncommon Iron Valiant? Cause I saw it and I'm like, that's, it's an odd uncommon. But what do I know? That's not it. Whoa. Make a mess of things. Okay, we'll, we'll look through in a second. We'll look through in a second. Sorry, okay, last card. I think there's something, yeah, there's something, okay, the energy. And I guess, yeah, I never, I never put the, um, that threw me off. Okay. Wow. Nice. I don't know, that could actually, this could actually be more material than the other ones. Because of this illustration. I don't know. Is that more material than a foil like that? Or a hollow like that? Very nice, though. Very nice. So I'm just going to go through them all one more time for you here. Thanks again, guys, for joining me. Randy with the Nerds Templar. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, all that fantastic stuff. Hit the bell, too. Why not? You know, whenever I post a new video, you'll know eventually whenever I start going live with this. I will be doing maybe a few other things I've been kind of maybe planning on here. You can even check out my other channel, um, Academia Christie, where I've been 
keeping up with my my gardening and homesteading adventure going into season two now of that um, and also hopefully going to be posting more and more of the religious theological philosophical and historical content um, <clears throat> as things hopefully ramp up even here in my home parish with that kind of stuff now that I am, if you can, you may notice in a different location here for the past bit while I've been doing this. So, yeah, anyway, I am pretty satisfied with that, with that collection there, with that uh, outcome, the turnout. We are just now a quick look see i'm pretty sure that there was and i thought it was this one no i mean it was the first one i thought but i guess maybe it could have been this one now that i got him confused uh, a different iron valiant that we had that was not a rare this was the worst looking of the packs but not bad still i mean none of them necessarily how could they be oh there it is it is just different different um Different artwork, but it's also, this is an uncommon, that's a rare, so. There's just two different Iron Valiants, good to know. And of course, they're both future. They have the same HP. They have different moves. Oh my goodness. I love the, the smell of new cards. It actually kind of throws me back sometimes to Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, but also at other moments throws me even further back to Pokemon. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's it for now. We will be looking up, of course, values of this. The next video you see is probably going to be all this stuff and everything else that's new in the new collection binder that we now have, thanks to my sister, um, because I just forgot to pick one up and this thing is massive, so that's even better than anything I probably would have found. Um, before I destroy any of my cards, I'm going to stop moving stuff around. And I will see you guys in the next one. Other than a collection thing, I'm not sure exactly what we'll be doing. It might end up being the, the next build and battle box, just because I'm very curious to know what's in the other one. We'll see, though. Later, guys. Peace.